Hi everyone, this is Julian from PyBytes, and I'm demonstrating our new 100 Days of Python grid. So this is a platform that allows you to actually plan your 100 days of tweets. Okay, because as part of the 100 days of code challenge, you actually have to tweet every single day your progress status. So what do we have here? We have the very first screen you're going to get to when you go to codechallenges.es forward slash 100 days or just in the left menu 100 days of code you get to this screen here the first thing you'll see is your start date so this is the date that you are planning on starting your 100 days of code challenge so today's date at the time of recording is the 2nd of April 2018 so 0204 2018 so you can type in what your learning objectives are. So my learning objectives could be to improve my Python skills. And once you've done that, you can then click on start the challenge or I need materials and guidance. So clicking this link will actually take you to this tab, the what to code tab. And if you read through there, it'll give you some tips but it'll actually direct you to our 100 days of code in Python course. All right, so we go back to the get coding tab and we can click on start the challenge. Now once that's loaded, you get your created your 100 days template, keep calm and code in Python. So this template has pre-populated with a whole bunch of pull down menus here. Okay, one for each day and it's pre-populated from the 2nd of April. Therefore, the final date, day 100, is the 10th of July, 2018. Now, back at the top here, we look at day one, and you'll see these two options here, bite and challenge. What we would like you to do, and what obviously would be our preference, is when you take the challenge, you use our bites, you use this platform to guide you through the 100 days, maybe take one of these per day or even take a few days to do one of our bites, one of our challenges. Additionally, you can also use our free challenges. Now these are the actual challenges we host on our blog. You can run through those and you can select one of them. So let's choose never miss a good podcast. By selecting that, your tweet is auto populated. So day one, 100 days of code, hashtag progress, Today I worked on PyBytes Code Challenge 17, Never Miss a Good Podcast, and then it has the link to the actual challenge. And that's it. Now let's move down to day two. If we choose a byte, we can choose the first one, which is Summon Numbers, and again, that will pre-populate your tweet. Day two, hashtag 100 Days of Code Progress. Today I worked on byte one. Now, if you decide you want to delete your progress, you can actually click on Start Over. Now, why would you do that? Many reasons. You've failed to complete the 100 days and you want to start again from scratch, whatever it might be. Click on Start Over and then reset your 100 days. And obviously, you cannot undo that. And that's it. You head back to the start and you start all over again. Now, if you are already in a 100 days of code challenge and you've just stumbled upon this platform you can actually click on already doing 100 days now if you do that you can click on import your hashtag 100 days of code tweets now by doing that it will actually connect to your twitter account you'll be prompted to log in and it will scan your account for all of your hashtag 100 days of code tweets and then will pre-populate a grid just like we saw before, but with your existing tweets, and then set you up for the consecutive tweets. Okay, and the last thing we're going to look at here is if you are already on our 100 Days of Python course, you'll be prompted to actually set up your grid based on the 100 Days of Code course. Okay, so if you do that, you're going to go to this link here. And what this will do, it will send you to a special page Okay, and it will actually pre-populate your project, your 100 days of code project, with the days from the course, the exact day one video from the course, the exact lesson that you're supposed to learn, and it's already done for you all the way through down to day 100. So for example, day one, 
100 Days of Code Progress. Today I worked on playing with date times. Okay, net number two, I worked on playing with date times practice. Okay, and then day three, I worked on playing with date times more coding. And you can obviously customize this as much as you want. You can add in whatever you'd like in there to be a bit more specific on what you did. So for example, this day here, day three, you are instructed to create a Pomodoro timer. So a lot of our users have been writing that in here, that this is what they're doing. And this goes through every single lesson of the course and will let you tweak that out without you having to do it yourself. And it's actually really, really handy. And a lot of people are loving it. So that's it. That's our 100 Days of Code grid platform. Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and keep calm and code in Python.